Hi there, and welcome to my channel, Certifiably Crafty. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to turn a plain plastic tray from the Dollar Tree into a high-end looking tray that's perfect for boho decor. First, I wrap twine around the tray, working my way from the outside in, hot gluing as I go. I used a heavy-duty five millimeter jute twine from Amazon for this. I promise that this first step is the most tedious part of this DIY. Once the whole tray is covered in twine, it's time to make a border with a thicker piece of rope. I got this one from the Dollar Tree. To keep the rope from fraying, I dab a small amount of hot glue on the end. Once the rope is glued all the way around, cut it off and glue the two ends together. I cut mine at an angle to make it fit more seamlessly together. Now for the fun part. I used a lighter to burn any stray hairs sticking out of the rope and the twine. This gives rope DIYs a much more polished look. Always be cautious when handling fire, especially when working with something flammable. I like to keep a cup of water nearby when doing this just in case. You can always stop here if you like the look of just the rope, but I decided to embellish my tray with the moon phases. I got this stencil in a pack from Amazon, but you can use stencils from any craft store, or make one of your Cricut, or even just freehand paint and design on the tray. I used painter's tape to hold the stencil down and also to create an outline for the border that will go around the tray. You wanna press the edges of the painter's tape into the cracks between the pieces of rope to keep the paint from seeping underneath. I did this all the way around, and for the corners, I ripped off a couple tiny pieces of painter's tape to create a curve with. Here's a closer look at how I make the curve with a couple smaller pieces of painter's tape. I decided to make my border as wide as three pieces of twine, so I did the same with the painter's tape on the inside, making sure to cover any part that wasn't going to be painted with tape. I'm using the black Waverly chalk paint for this. It's a thick paint, so it won't soak into the rope as much as a thinner paint would. I use a round sponge brush to dab the paint onto the stencil. You wanna dab the paint on so it doesn't get under the stencil and ruin the image. 
Then I apply the paint heavily around the border, making sure to get into all the cracks. Once I remove the stencil, I go in with a small paintbrush to touch up the moon phases, making them darker and their borders more pronounced. This is much easier to do with a small detail brush rather than a sponge brush. For a finishing touch, I painted wooden beads black to use as feet for the tray. I slid the beads onto a straw to make it easier to paint them, which worked out pretty well. The bottom of the tray has corner markers, which make it really easy to glue the beads in the right spot. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next DIY.